there everyone. I am here at the Bible reading. I hope you guys are having a good day. You guys having a good weekend? Our internet, phone, and cable's been down for a few hours. I'm surprised it's back on right now. Not going wood. Hopefully it stays on so we can get this done and get it uploaded for you guys. It's not storming or anything either. It used to do this every weekend for the longest time. I hope that doesn't start again. Okay, I want to get you guys set up. Sherman's going to follow along. The sticker. The stickers are falling off. Okay, we are on 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 11 through 21 today. chapter 23 verses 6 through 8. All right. So let's get started here with 2 Corinthians and this will be the Apostle Paul speaking. And Paul says, I am become a fool in glorifying. I am become a fool in glorying. Ye have compelled me, for I ought to have been commended of you, for in nothing am I behind the very chiefest apostles, though I be nothing. Truly the signs of an apostle were wrought among you in all patience and signs, and wonders and mighty deeds. For what is it wherein ye were inferior to other churches, except it be that I myself was not burdensome to you? Forgive me this wrong. Behold, the third time I am ready to come to you, and I will not be burdensome to you. For I seek not yours, but you. For the children ought not to lay upon for the parents, but the parents for the children. Paul's saying he's coming to teach them, he's coming to preach to them, and he don't want them to take care of him. He's there to take care of them, to teach them. They're not going to need to feed him and take care of them, he's going to take care of himself. And I will very gladly spend and be spent for you, though the more abundantly I love you, the less I be loved. But be it so, I did not burden you. Nevertheless, being crafty, I caught you with guile. Did I make a gain of you by any of them whom I sent unto you? I desired Titus, and with him I sent a brother. Did Titus make a gain of you? Walked we not in the same spirit? Walked we not in the same steps? Again, thank ye that we excuse ourselves unto you. We speak before God in Christ, but we do all things dearly beloved for your edifying. For I fear lest when I come I shall not find you such as I would, and that I shall be found unto you such as ye would not least there be debates, envyings, wraths, strifes, backbitings, whisperings, swellings, tumults. And least when I come again, my God will humble me among you, and that I shall be well many which have sinned already, and have not repented of the uncleanness and fortification and lavishness which they have committed.
Paul saying he's afraid they're going to commit sins, do all kinds of bad things when Paul and Titus and the apostles leave them to go other places and they're not there with them, teaching them. So they're going to come back and, of course, be with them more, to teach them more, but they're afraid when they leave, they're not going to follow what they said. They're going to do bad things. They need to learn to do good when Paul and them are not there as well as when they are. They need to learn to do good on their own for God, not just when the apostles are there with them. They need to learn to do it for God themselves. That's what Paul and the other disciples that are there, like Titus, are trying to teach them, the Corinthians. Okay, so let's go now to Psalm 56. Be merciful unto me, O God, for man would swallow me up. He fighting daily oppresseth me. Mine enemies would daily swallow me up. For they be many that fight against me, O Thou Most High. What time I am afraid I trust in Thee. In God I will praise His word. In God I have put my trust. I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. Every day they rest my words. All their thoughts are against me for evil. They gather themselves together. They hide themselves. They mark my steps when they wait for my soul. Shall they escape by inequity? In thine anger cast down the people of God. Thou tellest my wanderings. Put thou my tears into thy bottle, and they not in thy book. When I cry unto thee, then shall mine enemies turn back. This I know, for God is for me. In God will I praise his word. In the Lord will I praise his word. In God have I put my trust. I will not be afraid. What can man, what can man can do unto me? Thy vows are upon me, O God. I will render praises unto thee. For thou hast delivered my soul from death. Wilt not thou deliver my feet from falling, that I may walk before God in the light of the living? All right, guys, and that was Psalm 56. And now we're going to end today's Bible reading with Proverbs chapter 23, verses 6 through 7. Eat thou not the bread of him that hath an evil eye, neither desire thou his dainty meats. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, saith he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. The morsel which thou hast eaten shalt thou vomit up and lose thy sweet words. Okay guys, that was our Bible reading for today. I hope it touched your hearts. Now let me go through our prayer requests real quick. Please keep the following people in prayer. They remain the same. Sherman Crabtree. Sherman's knee swelled up really bad today. It's huge. We was in bed all day yesterday because Sherm had a severe, severe headache. Couldn't even hardly open his eyes. So we were in bed literally all day and night yesterday in the dark. Please pray for Cindy and Jim Welsh, Rhonda Karshner, Abby Myers, Matthew Simpson, Jimmy Myers. Uh, Jimmy starts work on Sunday. He got the job. They finally called him. He starts work tomorrow. Dora Harper, Layla and her son Emil, Melody and Eric Stanley. I think 
they're having a lot of problems again right now. Michelle Watkins and Bella, Tabitha Clary, Randy Post, and Jody McWhorter, Judy Thompson, Elizabeth Jeffries, Ray Dunlap, Henry Reffitt, Bridget Boggs and family, April Thacker and family, uh, Garnet Boyer and Jim Mitchell, and Norman Kirshner. All right, guys, that was our that was everything for today. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Let's bring those souls to Jesus, and God willing, we'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye, guys. God bless.